Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin to learn SOLIDWORKS with the simple model. Just have a look at the model and let's try creating few sketches. Let's click on the sketch on the left topmost corner. Once we click on the sketch, we'll see that the different planes will be shown over here. You can click on any of these planes. So I would prefer the right plane and click on the line and start creating few sketches. As you sketch, you'll be able to see that there are auto constraints happening. So if you have horizontal line in this fashion, it means that the line is horizontal. And if you have vertical lines uh, aligned with your line, it means that your line is vertical. This is your origin. And the sketch is not symmetric. So the next thing that you would have to do would be to create the symmetry for the lines so it's better you create a center line here and let's get back to the drawing and have a look so this is what we've created so now the next thing to do is to do symmetry so we select line three lines here and go for symmetric right and we do the same for this as well and this now if we just exit from the all the tools and try to move lines you'll be able to see that uh, the lines and the points follow symmetry now take the smart dimension and start dimensioning it so it's a 100 15 30 45 100 this should be 30 and this overall length is 45 and this length is 20. As we have a black color sketch, you'll be sure that the sketch is fully constrained. So I've performed three operations just now. If you click on the shift and uh, click on middle mouse button and move, it zooms the sketch. And if you click on Alt and then uh, click the middle mouse button and move, it rotates the sketch. And if you click on Control and move the sketch on, the, uh, click on the middle mouse button and move, it pans the sketch. So the most frequently used would be the panning, and uh, the rest depends on how you use it. Because for zooming, you have a scroll wheel. If you don't have a scroll wheel, you can always do this method of uh, click on the clicking on the shift and uh, using the middle mouse button and now we have the black colored sketch which says that the sketch is fully constrained so you can exit the sketch and now you have to do an extrude so extrude of 40 mm or 40 units so you can go for features extrude and you can mention your 40 here 
click on OK and that will actually create your model so I hope you enjoyed we've learned a little about SolidWorks in this video but as you work on something and as you make some results on each and every end of this short videos it would definitely bring a lot of confidence on uh, beginner users and uh, stay tuned for the next video thank you so much Thank you.